Hi my loves, happy Friday. I hope you all are doing fantastic. So I am back today with another like styling video, how to video, kind of like almost like a style guide video. So lately I've been seeing a lot of like videos circulating around on the internet about like how to have a more minimalistic look, how to look more expensive on a budget. While that concept of like having that old money look or like that look of looking more expensive on a budget is nothing new, I kind of wanted to put my own spin on that. One of the things that I've noticed with those videos is that I feel like you can still be very minimal and still have a very old money look while also looking very sexy and sophisticated and edgy at the same time. That is what today's video will be about. I don't know what I really want to call this video because it's not necessarily how to look more expensive. I think it's just how to look more refined but also look very edgy and sexy and sophisticated and timeless and classic at the same time. Before we get into the video though, if you guys are new to my channel, hi hello my name is Brittany and I love to make videos about fashion and beauty and style and all of that fun stuff. If you guys aren't already following me, make sure that you guys follow me over on my other social media platforms as well. So Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, like I always say, I am definitely most active over on Instagram. So definitely make sure you guys follow me over there. So everything that I'm going to be featuring in this video are going to be pieces that I have already had in my wardrobe. These are timeless pieces. These are classic pieces. These are pieces that are just very, very universal. But I'll definitely make sure to try and link similar items down below so that it'll be a nice little like jumping off point for you guys when you guys are also trying to refine your wardrobe or if you just want a little bit of inspo um, I'll definitely link similar items down below um and then as always if you guys have any comments or questions please feel free to leave those down below without further ado we'll go ahead and get right into the video so the first thing that I want to start off with is when we're talking about having a more fine style you want a style that looks more expensive or luxurious one thing that I would definitely recommend is sticking with neutrals I know like if you are somebody who absolutely loves color do you like this is just my tips my tricks is because neutrals look good at any price point also having neutral pieces are just going to be just timeless and classic and they can be worn so many different ways throughout different seasons and neutral colors will always look good on everybody it doesn't matter what skin tone you are what height you are um what like ethnicity you are like it doesn't matter what your body shape is like neutrals look good on everybody white cream gray beige brown those staple colors right there look phenomenal on everybody so in my last video you guys saw that like i was talking about all my favorite denim and of course there were like denim that was like ripped denim distressed denim like all types of denim that i featured in that video but one thing i would definitely say if you are somebody that is going for a more elevated or um, luxe look i would highly recommend sticking to dark wash denim and non-distressed denim stress denim automatically gives off a very like edgy and very casual feel whereas denim that doesn't have any like distressing or cutouts or anything in it automatically gives off a more refined look so i have these jeans right here these are just a basic classic dark wash skinny jean from abercrombie of course <laughs> i got these about two months back three months back and um they are the super skinny ankle high rise jeans these are in a size 28 short and they're from the curve love collection of course and they're just a good classic staple just dark wash denim they're just a good classic staple dark wash denim i actually talked about these jeans in that video i remember saying that like dark wash denim will be having a moment this year and it is definitely having a moment denim in general is having a moment but dark wash denim specifically is having a moment and i think because dark wash denim is just it's classic the thing about dark wash denim is that you can pair it with a white button up you can pair it with a blazer it's a it's a pair of jeans that you can actually like dress up and like wear to work if you work in an environment where you can wear this to work it's just a good universal color to wear in denim um yeah i love these jeans from abercrombie like i said i got these from the curve love line i'm a huge fan of the curve love line i feel like that line fits and works with my body type my body style so having a pair of dark wash denim would definitely be on the list having a more refined and elevated look so the next thing on the list is going to be no surprise to anybody but it is a classic just basic button-up shirt it could be a white button-up shirt it could be a black button-up shirt you guys are going to be seeing in this video that i'm actually featuring 
a white button up shirt and a black button up shirt but just a good like classic button up shirt will always elevate your look will always make you look a little bit more polished and more refined again this is one of those pieces that it doesn't matter what price point you shop it at you can buy a button up shirt from Abercrombie you can buy one from Neiman Marcus you can buy one from Walmart as long as you have a good crisp classic button up shirt that is all that matters so I have this one right here and I actually don't know what brand this one comes from it just says mimosa on it I want to say this was beachy but it could be pink lily but it's just a good classic button up shirt it has a really nice like relaxed fit to it it's simple it's effortless yeah that would definitely be my number two recommendation if you are trying to go for a more polished and refined look this style of shirt will quite literally never ever ever go out of style so the next thing that I would recommend every everybody have on their list when they are looking to refine their style but they still want to be a little bit sexy and edgy would be to have a nice lace piece so whether that be a lacy top a lacy skirt a lacy bodysuit a lacy bralette there is something about lace that is so beautiful and so timeless and very classic if you look at pic images and pictures from different eras you'll notice that lace is one of those fabrics that will never ever go out of style. It's still very beautiful. It's still very elegant. Lace is one of those materials that can be a little bit more risky or if you if it's done right, it can be more polished and more sophisticated. So I have this bodysuit right here, which is a bodysuit that I've featured many times on my channel. And in fact, I actually featured it last week. Um, but it's this little like lace bodysuit right here from Zara. I got this, I want to say last year, and it's still one of my favorite little lace bodysuits. It's very simple and it just kind of like has these like little cups at the top of it. And it's just a very simple bodysuit. Now I could put this bodysuit with a pair of ripped jeans. I could put this bodysuit with a midi skirt. I could put this bodysuit with a short skirt. I could put this bodysuit under a blazer. There are just so many different ways that I can wear this bodysuit and um, just completely transform my look. So as you guys can see, I have this bodysuit on with a navy satin midi skirt. Here's the beautiful thing about like these two pieces going together is that lace and satin are both like very romantic pieces but at the same time because this is a midi length skirt and it's also in navy when you pair it with something like this it still looks very classy it doesn't look too risky but at the same time it's still very sexy there are ways to do lace without it looking trashy so i hope that this like makes sense i have paired this bodysuit with so many different things and it's just so simple and i just absolutely love it so get you a good lace staple piece and yeah, thank me later because you can wear it with so many different things. <laughs> so my next go-to item, if I am trying to curate a more refined and elevated and polished look, would be to, of course, without a doubt, have a good blazer. So I have this blazer right here. This is going to be from the brand Shop Priceless, which Shop Priceless is a brand that it's not very expensive. Um, it's very price friendly. They have a lot of really cute items on there. But um, the thing that I love about this blazer right here is that it is in like this tweed material. Tweed automatically is one of those materials that it doesn't matter what price point you're looking at. Tweed is one of those materials that it automatically looks and feels more expensive. So I actually have this blazer and I have a skirt that goes with it, a tweed skirt that goes with it. And like I said, this wasn't super expensive at all. They always have some sort of sale going on. When I saw this, I was like, I can make so many looks out of this. What it looks like, it just has like the little gold hardware right here. And it's just a basic, black tweed blazer this is going to be one of those blazers that i will never ever ever give up like i'm not huge on having a ton of tweed just because i live in the south and so it can get really really hot down here but having like a tweed blazer especially in a neutral color especially one that fits really well it's something that everybody needs to have in their wardrobe this blazer of course can be worn a thousand different ways you can wear this to work you can wear this out you can wear this of course like during the fall and winter time you can definitely wear this like on cooler nights during the springtime like there's just so many ways to wear a good classic tweed blazer now if you are somebody who is not a big fan of tweed go for a regular blazer just having a good basic blazer it, like you will never ever go wrong with a good classic blazer. So just having a good staple blazer in your wardrobe is just going to be essential for elevating your look and making you look a little bit more refined. So the next piece is one that I don't see a lot of people necessarily talking about. So I kind of wanted to throw this in because I feel like this is also a, an item that is very classic and simple. And that is a classic 
shirt dress. So I have this white shirt dress right here from the brand Le Glacy. I got this shirt dress back in 2021 and it's still one of my favorites. It's like one of the only shirt dresses that I own. But the thing that I love about this is I love like the little corset detail in the front. Of course, it's just a classic white, just simple uh, shirt dress. This is what the back of it looks like. It has like, it has this little slit in the back, but then it also has like this little zipper closure. That shirt dress is one of those pieces that I will never ever get rid of. It screams simple. It screams like an elevated style, classic and timeless and seamless. It's like, that is what that dress screams to me. And there are so many brands that do shirt dresses like that so well. Um, I used to have one from H&M and I don't know where it is, but I used to have a white like basic button up shirt dress that I absolutely loved from H&M that fit really well. It was so nice and it's just really simple. A shirt dress is one of those pieces that it doesn't matter what price point you shop it at, it still looks really good. It's very flattering on a lot of people. It's definitely one of those pieces that I love having in my wardrobe, especially when I'm going for more of a just like refined but casual look at the same time. So another item that I would recommend having in your wardrobe if you want to refine your style and just go for a more elevated look would be having a more relaxed midi dress. I love a good midi dress. I love a good like tight bodycon style midi dress. I love a good strapless midi dress, but there is something about having a more relaxed fit midi dress that just screams elevated to me. It screams like polished to me. And it's just, it's one of those pieces that's just so nice and so simple and just, again, will never go anywhere. So I have this one right here from the brand Topshop, which I don't know what happened to Topshop. Topshop needs to come back because Topshop used to be one of my favorite, favorite brands to shop at. But I have this dress from Topshop that I've had for years now. I wanna say six, seven years now. It's still definitely one of my favorite dresses. It has kind of like this, low cut front it has this dolman style sleeve to it it's black um it came with a belt i don't know what where the belt is but i always just put it with like a different belt but it's just really really simple this is what the back of it looks like it also kind of has like that little slit in the back and then the zipper closure and it's just a really beautiful simple drapey style dress i personally feel like if you are somebody that wants to go for a more refined look having a staple dress like this in your wardrobe is crucial. I have actually worn this dress out before, like out like to dinner, but then I've also worn this dress to brunch, but then I've also worn this exact dress to a wedding. So having a dress like this, that is the midi length, that is very relaxed and not too tight, not too fitted, to me is like, it's just so essential. You can get dresses like this from H&M. Again, I know H&M does a great job. Also the brand Mango. Mango does a really, really good job at having um, the more relaxed fit, more drapey style midi dresses like this. And Taylor, Banana Republic, that's another really good brand. Having a dress that, that fits like this, it's not too short, but not too long, but not too tight, is going to be essential when trying to have a more polished or refined look. So that is definitely another thing that I would recommend you guys have in your wardrobe. Another piece that I would highly recommend you guys have in your wardrobe if you are also looking to go for that refined look would be a pair of just good basic tailored pants. You can get tailored pants literally anywhere. Express, Banana Republic, Ann Taylor, H&M, Crombie. I mean, just anywhere. You can get tailored pants anywhere. I have these right here from the brand Petal and Pup, which I talked about so many times before on my channel, but these are still one of my favorites. These pants right here are gonna be absolutely perfect for the springtime. Number one, they are a linen material, which linen is such a beautiful fabric to wear during the springtime, and it is is a more like elevated fabric to have and they're wide leg and then of course they just have a more um, tailored feel and tailored look to them. I ended up getting these in a size medium. I believe Petal and Pup still has these and I think they also have them in another color but there's just so many ways to wear pants that look like this. You can wear this of course to work, you can wear it out, you can wear it out shopping, you can bring them on vacation. I've taken these on vacation before and they are a phenomenal alternative to having to wear denim or leggings. I think that we are in a time period right now where, you know, post everything that happened in 2020, post the pandemic, everybody's style has become a lot more casual, like even me. I think that there's a nice balance between being casual, being comfortable, but also still looking put together and polished and looking nice. You know, a lot of us were working from home. I work from home. I think we got very comfortable with sweatshirts and hoodies and having that like athleisure look. I'm guilty of it. I'm starting to 
really like yearn for more brands to have pieces like this that are more simple but polished, but elevated, but simplistic, that can be dressed up, that can be dressed down, as opposed to consistently giving us hoodies and sweatshirts and athleisure and bike shorts. And again, that stuff is fun and I love that. Like, obviously I will never stop wearing those pieces as well, but there are times where I'm like, oh my God, if I see one more beige hoodie, I'm going to scream. Like there is a way that we can still look like this, we can still look refined, but also be casual and comfortable at the same time. I know I just kind of went off on a tangent, but yes, having a pair of pants like this, a pair of linen pants, black pants, tailored pants, they can be worn so many different ways. You can dress them up, you can dress them down, and they still look really good. So that is definitely one piece I would highly recommend you guys have in your collection. The next piece that I would recommend is having a good basic like neutral skirt. So I have this little mini skirt right here. This is from the brand Pink Lily and I still love this little skirt. It's like a little suede skirt. Having a good basic neutral skirt is just, it's one of those pieces that automatically elevates the look. And this one right here is just a mini skirt. If you are not a mini skirt girly, do a midi skirt. Me, I'm only 5'1", so mini skirts actually tend to look the best on me. You can never go wrong with a good basic neutral skirt like this. Having a good basic black skirt and pairing it with like a bodysuit or just a really nice sweater, a button up shirt, like it's just one of those looks and one of those pieces that will never ever go out of style. It looks very refined, it looks very polished, and it's very simple. So that is one piece that I would highly recommend you guys have in your collection. All right, my loves, I am back. Sorry, my battery died and then like the lighting has changed, but I am back with the last like clothing item that I feel is a really, really good staple to have in your wardrobe if you are somebody that's looking to curate a more minimalist slash like refined look. And that is gonna be a basic black mock neck bodysuit. They are just really, really good staples to have in your wardrobe. I feel like you can put something like this with a skirt, you could put it with jeans, you could put it with a midi skirt, you can wear it under a blazer. Like there's just so many different ways to wear something like this. Plus the thing that I love about like mock neck style bodysuits like this is they're not super heavy, but they're also not like super thin. So it's just a really, really good addition to have in your wardrobe for the springtime and really all seasons. It looks very chic, it looks very like sleek and just, effortless and just really put together. I have this one right here from the brand Pink Lily, which I've had for a while, which Pink Lily does an amazing job with their bodysuits and their basics. And they just keep it on theme with everything else. This is one of those pieces that you don't necessarily have to spend a ton of money on. Um, there's so many brands that do basic mock neck bodysuits like this. It's simple and it is timeless. It will literally go with everything. So yeah, that is my last like clothing piece. And then the very last like category that I wanted to talk about when you are trying to curate a more polished or refined look would be just making sure that your accessories are very minimal, making sure that your accessories aren't really competing with another. You guys know me, like I am a huge fan of stacking jewelry with having on like layered necklaces and wearing like pieces that are just a little bit extra, doing a ton of like ring stacks and like, you know, bracelets and just a ton of jewelry. But every now and then I even have to look at myself and I have to be like, Brittany, you need to take it back a little bit. You don't need as much jewelry pick a statement piece, you know, and just kind of tone it down a little bit. I do notice that when I do tone it down a little bit more, the entire look looks a lot better. That is one thing that I would definitely recommend. Um, as you guys can see in the video, all of the accessories that I have on are very minimal. Nothing is really clashing with the other. So like for instance, if I'm gonna do like a statement shoe that has a bunch of bling on it, maybe do a neutral bag. If I'm gonna do a statement necklace, maybe keep the shoe in the bag a little bit more simple. So those little touches right there are great ways to refine your look a little bit more and just make you look a little bit more put together, but yet effortless at the same time. All right, my love, so that is it. Those are gonna be all of like my tips and tricks on how to elevate your style, how to look a little bit more polished, how to look a little bit more put together without having to break the bang or do anything too extra or like go all the way outside of the box. These are just little simple touches that I think everybody can put together. And I also feel like almost all of us have some of these pieces, if not all of these pieces in our wardrobe. So those are just gonna be my like recommendations on how to achieve that look. All right, my love, so that is it. I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous Friday. Relax, have fun, be safe, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye, my loves.